Hi there, this is Dave from Gibson and Barnes once again with you. We have a very, very special A2. This is called the Mark 31. It's an early model, and what distinguishes the 31, the skin is vetch tan goat, the old ways of tanning the goat. The, uh, this particular jacket has a stand collar, which the other A2 did not, is very distinguishing. It gives the higher collar look. The stand collar was an earlier version of the A2s and they started getting away from it. It was difficult to put together. Uh, this was eventually only kept by one manufacturer where the others opted for the standard collar, which was a little more secure and uh, held up better. Now I'd like to show you the inside that distinguishes this jacket also from some of the other A2s. All our historical jackets have the nickel zipper. What's the advantage of it? A lot of times you think you're getting a nickel zipper, but it's basically brass with nickel sprayed on top. So what happens from a short period of time of using the jacket, the gold brass starts showing through. It doesn't look as appealing as a nickel. Now another feature about the Mark 31, the liner is 100% pure silk. It's a heavy duty 28 mummy silk. Now some of you may think that silk will not hold up as well as cotton but silk is much tougher for the same thickness, holds up very nicely. Now, as, as we started getting into the war, they got smart and said, "Why, well, wait a minute, we need silk for a lot better uses like parachutes than lining jackets. So they went to a standard cotton, 100% cotton, and held up pretty well. So they used the silk for better usage as parachutes, as I mentioned, and other uses they had. As with all our historical jackets, the waistband and the cuffs are made 100% wool knit. In closing, I'd like to thank you all for being with us. I'd like to thank Bill and Claudia Allen and the Allen Airways Museum for making all this available to us. If you'd like to know more about our products, go to www.gibson-barnes.com. I'm Dave Marshall. Thank you very much for joining us. Bye-bye.